top of this thing. There has to be some corresponding action. There has to be something in us that says, you know what? I'm not just going to think about me. I'm going to think about us. I should agitate y'all, keep going, but I'll stop. <laughs> God wants us to be on the same page. Amen. I look in the scriptures and I see what can happen when the people get on the same page. Amen. Walls come down yes. when you get on the same page. Amen. Things happen. And I'm here to tell you, Maybe some things in your life ain't come down because you have thought and you trusted in your own ability. You believe in God for something that ain't showing up. Uh, uh, I don't know what that means. Well, Paul, Paul became, Saul, who became Paul, had an issue too. Persecuted the church. He said, why does that persecute me? And he was persecuting the body. So when God looks at the church, he looks at his body. And when he looks at his body, it's the same as you're doing unto him. I know. That's why you can tell. It, it's like you can hear a quarter come off the carpet. Because people don't, they don't want to think like that. But if you're going to be an apostolic community, you got to think that way. Your personal decisions are never private. Ever. You lost that right once you said, I do to Jesus. Amen. You don't have any legal right or legal ground to your opinions of what you've been exposed to. Father, okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just bless you. They can't take that. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just ask that you bring in your Holy Ghost sutures to stitch us. To prepare us to remove the infirmities that's in us, that, that our bruised mind, will, and emotions that have been damaged because of life. Yes. And we've been inaccurate because we have not chose to yield to your word. We've created our own personal spaces and safe havens. And we've called it God. But it has never been about what we could do. It's always been about the temple, the body of Christ, yes, members in particular, joints and ligaments. That's what it's about. Fitly frame together. That's what it's all about. And that's where you put your glory in. The new wine is in the cluster. It's upon the body. Where it says, Behold, how good and pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. And that's where the oil comes from. Where there's a people in unity, brethren, dwelling together, fitly trained together, under one banner, Jesus Christ is Lord. Not my disposition, not my opinions, but Jesus Christ is Lord. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.